Have you ever thought of starting to chant mantras and you're wondering even if I chant what benefits will I get, right? Give and take benefits. <laughs> Materially, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, intellectually, financially. Uh, <laughs> yes, mantras will not only empower you spiritually, it will also empower you materially. And here are 10 benefits of chanting mantras using astrology. So we'll discuss about houses and planets that it will impact and improve. It will only take you up. There is no down. Alright, so the first house that it will improve is the 8th house. If you are chanting mantras and well, before I begin, please write down in the comments which mantra are you chanting regularly or occasionally. Alright, please write it down. So the first benefit is your 8th house will improve. The 8th house will not torment you anymore because your fears will go away because as Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita do not fear Krishna says right Ma suchaha sarva dharvan parityajya ma mekam sharanam raja aham to aham sarva pape bhyo moksha ishami ma suchaha he says O Arjuna just surrender unto me and do not fear I shall deliver you from all sinful reactions the 8th house is the house of sinful reactions so 8th house will not torment you anymore which means even if you have sins which we certainly have when they come in front of us those reactions we will be able to handle them effortlessly all right of course easier said than done but depending on your spiritual maturity you will be able to digest your own sinful reactions number two very important your sixth house will not torment you anymore which means if you chant mantras your six anarthas will start reducing gradually Kava, Krodha, Loba, Moho, Mada, Matsarya. Lust, anger, greed, envy, pride, illusion. All this will gradually start going away. You, you will stop your attraction towards, you know, opposite sex, wealth, you know, your arrogance, your stupidity, your... <laughs> All these negativities will come down, okay, because... When you are chanting mantras, what is happen is uh, what is happening is your six anarthas are getting cleansed. Okay, so they are leaving your consciousness because see, at one place there cannot be two things. So if you are chanting mantras, you are invoking the power of God. So then your anarthas cannot stay there because they don't like God. All right, because they know when God's here, we are out. <laughs> so therefore, if you are chanting mantras you will see gradually your negativity and your bad habits are going away okay number three your 12th house will not torment you anymore why because see who who, who is tormented by their 12th house one who is very attached so when you chant mantras you automatically become detached you are least bothered least bothered does not mean you don't care about anything and everybody but you are not very bothered, you know, what people are thinking about me, you know, what people are, oh, am I looking good, oh, what does he think, she think, you know, all these, all, all these things, or if some, something is taken away from you, you are not like, oh my God, this is gone, I am going to die, you know, this will happen, that will happen, you understand that, anyways, one day everything will be taken away from me, so you kind of uh, start to feel that the end is going to come anyways one day, right? And the only thing that is important is to uh, remember God at the time of death. And that is the most important thing uh, which you realize. And this is what happens when you chant mantra. So even if there is some loss, you are okay with it. Okay, You know, this is because of my own karma. It's coming. Okay, I'll handle it. You know, there are good days and then there are bad days. Okay. So if good days come, you won't be like hyper excited. And if bad days come, you won't be like, you know, hyper miserable or depressed or anxious okay so the dustara houses will lose their negative effects this is the biggest the, the, these three benefits are the biggest benefits of chanting mantras which cannot be replicated by anything else okay number four your fourth house is improving because you become peaceful so have you seen a person who chants mantras regularly see when the dustaras don't Torment you, what happens? You become very peaceful. You become very content. You become very satisfied. You become very jolly. You become a well-wisher to everybody. Your fourth house is 
the also purity so you gain purity and when you gain purity what happens everybody wants to be with you because they know you will not exploit them so you become everybody's favorite not because you get exploited by everybody but everybody wants your time and attention they want guidance from you now everybody wants uh, to know how they can improve their life by seeing your example so you become a shining star okay not in terms of wealth or uh, like you know bollywood hollywood the celebrity type but you will become like a magnet and people will be drawn to you like crazy okay so the fourth house will not have any bad effects so this is the fourth benefit number 5 the fifth house will give you your <coughs> will will tell you who you are okay the fifth house will help you discover yourself fifth house uh, is the house which tells you who you are so when you chant mantras what will happen is your negativity will go away from the dustanas and your mind will become peaceful from the fourth house and you will start to understand who you are you will stop pretending you will stop doing things which you know you should not you will stop doing things which uh, you were doing once upon a time but now you understand that it's not sustainable in the long run okay so therefore if you chant mantras you will actually find the best version of yourself you will exactly know where you should speak what how much how much you should not speak what kind of topics to talk with whom you know you will you will understand all these things without any uh, without anybody telling you okay so if you chant mantras you will become like a superman okay or a superwoman <laughs> you will exactly know you can watch the Um, the, you know you you can watch the frequency of a person you will know okay this person i can talk this much maybe not that much it will be too much for him okay so you will exactly talk what is good for that person what is and depending on that person's level and then per, that person will feel okay you are also at the same level like him okay but you are much way beyond than him but he won't feel like this he will feel okay okay he's like my friend okay <laughs> number 6 your 10th house will give you your purpose in life 10th house shows your purpose your vision in life okay the 10th house so if you chant mantras very effortlessly in a period of 3 months 6 months 1 year or depending on how sincerely you chant and depending on how is your um, how much garbage is there at the back of the mind you will will be able to find your purpose and you will find your vision so you will be able to work towards it so your direction will be very clear you will become razor uh, sharp focused you will become extremely uh, focused with your intentions also not just your actions or also your intentions and people can see through it okay they will know that you are a genuine person you you actually uh, are their well wisher you will become everybody's well wisher okay and everybody might become your well wisher also okay so therefore if you feel you lack purpose you don't have any vision in life you don't know what you should be doing you are running behind 10 astrologers you know this career course that career relationship course this course that post you know, nadi astrology kp astrology parashari astrology jaimini astrology this astrology that astrology oof then maybe you need to pause and start chanting some mantras okay very 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 important then the next benefit is your satwa guna increases which means three planets start improving jupiter sun and moon of course surya is not completely satvic it is he is a mixture of satwa and rajas but in general these three planets control all the satwa guna inside so when your satwa guna will increase in your consciousness then what happens you will be able to do things in a much more focused way you will not be distracted you know you will be able to uh, speak properly you will be respectful you will be kind hearted you will uh, you will be able to do things as per the requirement you will be able to prioritize things properly you know you will not get anxious if something bad happens you know you will not become depressed if something negative happens so because of that people will understand you are a trustworthy person that you know because of that people will feel that they can trust with trust you so maybe you know this can help you in your business in your job you know you will get a nice uh, you will get more responsibility in the workplace because people know you are dependable 
and you just don't you know give in to your whims and fancies or you don't abruptly react okay so people will look to you as a very good leader and you will be able to have a much better life easy going life basically okay number 8 your navamsha will increase because navamsha is the chart of who you are so if you have like you know terrible placements in the navamsha you know like two malefics in the lagna or two malefics in the seventh or something like that then your navamsha's uh, negativity will reduce because yeah. your when you are chanting mantras your sattva guna is increasing then your navamsha is becoming better and better and this will help you in your married life this will help you in your uh, in uh, other areas of your life you know you will be uh, overall you will become a much better person so because of that uh, if even if you have bad placements and conjunctions in the d9 it it won't bother you much in the dashas or even if it bothers you will be able to handle them with a greater power okay? that's the power of god basically number 9 you will find overall holistic success in your life which comes from the 11th house so your 11th house will become more powerful because you will now not just uh, do things you know so you will know how to balance your life so symptom of satoguna is good balance okay so if your if your uh, if your mind is in satoguna then you know okay my morning time should be for spiritual practices then in the day i work and evening should be for my family and you know maybe uh, for some health or you know i do some yoga or exercise or i go to the gym in the morning or in the evening okay so and i sleep properly so overall you will have a good profession uh, you will have a good health you will have a good married life you will have really good relationship with your children with your parents in laws i mean of course you cannot uh, have externally a perfect situation that i'm i'm not saying you will have that but what i'm trying to say is whatever is there externally you will be you will be able to easily navigate through that okay so for example you know if you have some relative or you know some family member with whom you know who don't like you and you know they just um, you know they can't make peace with you for some reason so then you will know okay maybe i should deal with that person in such a way you know so you you will be you you will be able to know how to deal with people basically this is one of the master skills which is required in you know leadership management and authority position so because of this what happens you know people will be able to uh, feel very easy going around you okay and they will want your company more and more so your network circle will increase people will trust you more people will give you things you know they will give you their contacts they will give you their money and all this you know so therefore you will become like a overall success story for everyone to follow you will become like an inspiration for them okay <clears throat> and last but not the least which is the most important your ninth house will become more powerful which is the ultimate essence of chanting any mantra because you you will become you will go more close to god so you 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 will realize god is there with you <laughs> so this is maybe the number one but i've kept it in the last uh <clears throat> this is the most important benefit and this transcends every other benefit and um, everything else is secondary to this benefit okay so if you uh, if you can feel that you are now chanting mantras if you are doing regularly you can certainly feel that your connection to the divine is increasing you know your consciousness is going higher 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 you are becoming more and more you know elevated in terms of your you know spiritual practices in your sadhana okay not that you will feel like that in a in a arrogant sense you know you may it may be the otherwise you may feel you know you are so fallen and that is what the great acharyas feel that they are very fallen and a normal person who is actually very fallen will feel very proud but in general you will have this realization that you know now i am more deeply rooted to my spiritual practices than before all right so i hope these 10 benefits are sufficient enough for you to start chanting mantras regularly and if you are wondering which mantras you should chant then i have a lot of videos on mantras not too many but quite some so you can go to youtube and type exotic astrology mantras and you will find all right Thank you so much. I wish you all the best and please chant mantras regularly. Take care. Jai Sri Ram.